guys, it's Perry here, out and about right now, specifically at Motion Pictures Imaging on the Warner Brothers lot, because we got a little to learn right now. I absolutely love The Wizard of Oz, and there's this brand new 4K Ultra HD edition out there right now, and I got a million and one questions about how they made this happen. Let's get some answers. This is Bob Bailey. I'm Bob Bailey. I'm Vice President of Operations and Sales here at Motion Picture Imaging. He's going to be showing us around today. Motion Picture Imaging is a post-production servicing company. We work on anybody's projects. We'll work on your own home movies. We're just really, really expensive. Uh, and so I thought it'd be interesting to see some of the work we're working on. This gentleman right here is remastering an old episode of Bugs Bunny called Unswept Hair. This is where he color corrects the episode and digitally erases any artifacts left over from the new scan, like dust particles and also stray hairs. We'll get more into the detail of actual color correction when we look at the Wizard of Oz. This building doesn't look very big, but it's almost 38,000 square feet. This department is called scanning and recording. Here's where they scan all sizes of film from 16 millimeter to 70 millimeter and they turn it into digital files. These machines here are capable of scanning film negatives in 10K, 16-bit resolution. Every year, they scan millions of feet of film. We have six cold vaults here in this building. Um, where we store our original film elements, everything post-1951, because Kodak and other film manufacturers in 1951 stopped making nitrate film, which is very explosive or combustible. For instance, The Wizard of Oz is on nitrate film, but that's stored at the George Eastman house. But here are our crown jewels, our actual film elements, in our cold box. And if you thought you were warm, you're not going to be in this house. So like I said, it's 35 degrees temperature, 25% humidity, earthquake resistant. There's very, very little paper in this, in this facility. It's plastic because fire is the nemesis, obviously. But if there was a fire, for unknown reasons that it could be, there's a halon system that will literally, in 60 seconds, take all the oxygen out of the building because the film's more important than us. Because Warner Brothers has 20 million film assets around the planet, all of the original cut negatives are barcoded and also cataloged so any one piece of film can be located. So I'm holding the original negative of Superman the movie and now I'm out. Now this right here is Janet Wilson. I'm Janet Wilson. She's the digital colorist on this 4K restoration of Wizard of Oz and also many of the past restorations of the film as well. The Wizard of Oz was shot in Technicolor, which was a three strip color process that produced really vibrant, saturated color, which made beautiful prints. And now with the color space that we have available to us when we're doing UHD masters, we can take advantage of all that color and that color separation that a Technicolor element, original camera negative in this case, provides. So we really get to see the full range of color in this movie and all the subtleties and distinctions between all the colors in this movie. One of the things that I really noticed this time around was the gradation of color in the Wicked Witch's face. Just all the millions of shades of green that got into her makeup is amazing. Dorothy's freckles really show up, the burlap texture of the scarecrow's face really shows up. That's really good. On this movie, uh, because this movie is tough, it's difficult, partly because of its age and because it's Technicolor and because there are old 1939 level special effects in it. It took me about four months to do this movie. So uh, yeah, so it took a while. My favorite scene, and it's hard for me to say what my favorite shot in there, but one of my favorite scenes is the scene where Dorothy and the Scarecrow find the Tin Woodman um, because that set is so beautiful. The set with the trees and his cottage and the yellow brick road running through the forest is just, it's one of my favorite sets. It's so gorgeous. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that little behind the scenes tour here. If you're interested in getting a copy of this for yourself, it's available to purchase right now. You can get this hard copy or you can get it digitally too. Check it out. Back to Collider I go.